This is a short video to walk you through the look and feel and functionality of the new Direct Sales Playbook. On the left are highlighted videos to reinforce our top customer campaigns, currently SD WAN and WANosaurus. This is to keep those front and center in the reps' minds. The main section of the front page welcomes them to the playbook and describes its purpose and provides the windstream value proposition. Sales can also ask a question to the community from this front page. The system will use smart matching to see if a similar question has already been asked and then provide the answer. As the site grows um, in usage, the interactiv interactivity will also grow. The playbook's broken into five sections, what I do, how I do it, systems I use, resources I have, and then plays that I run. Let's take a quick look at each of these. You'll see that some of the links are still being built out. I'll review the timeline at the end of the video. So, what I do. This section helps to reinforce what sales reps are expected to do and the windstream culture starting with the account executive's belief system, our vision, and who we are. There are nine sections on this page that will help our salespeople know what to do, especially new reps. Welcome to Windstream, Values, Principles, Sales DNA, for example. There's also things like staying connected. This is where um, I give instructions on finding and following not only the, I think the blogs that the reps should be following, leadership, enterprise sales stream activities. Sometimes it's difficult to figure out how to get to those blogs and how to follow them, so I give them instructions on that, as well as how to connect to this um, playbook remotely. There's our reporting structure. Um, this section will get built out as the new organization structure develops. Support organizations. These are links to the individual group stream pages, so reps don't have to go search for them, and also direct links to their org charts, so reps can find actual humans in these groups as needed. Our culture, our vision, onboarding. As the site get, will get a lot of views from new employees, I've built links to the pages and sites that our new reps need to use. It can be difficult as a new sales rep to find the things you're supposed to do. Having the links here should improve the onboarding experience. Sales reporting. I built direct links to the Tableau sites most reps use most, the sales reporting site, flash report, and the quarter credit report. As we built out new dashboards and new other reporting for sales, I'll add those into here as well. I've also put a link to a recent blog on commissions reporting that has some good links. Rules of engagement, this is the direct link to the most recent Scott Ellsworth Rules of Engagement blog post. <clears throat> I'll update this link to the official rules of engagement as they develop. So going back to the home page. Let's look at how I do it. So it says here this section will cover everything they need to know about <clears throat> how to do their job. So this section is built around taking a sales rep to the sales process and all of the things they need to know about how to do their job. If you click on the selling strategy, you can see the this is the revised selling strategy that we went through recently with the sales leadership. Um, adding a new stage, and then how it aligns with the Windforce sales cycle. So this section aligns with this sales cycle. The section is broken down into, into the individual steps of the sales strategy process. I'll review a few of them here so that you can get a feel. So let's click on target, first stage. Each of the pages are built like this. <clears throat> first, what does this um, step mean? And then what are the expected expectations of you during this stage? As you'll see down here, I built information on how to prospect, work with marketing, understanding your market differentiators, using social networking, finding and using content, and the segmentation process, including how to use Marketo and Savile. And if you click on this video, Hi, this is Mark Saffel. Welcome to the target section of how I do it in the Direct Sales Playbook. This section provides links to a number of different areas inside Windstream to help you understand so what this set, what this video does is gives you not only a highlight of this page, but also takes you into some of the key pieces modern of modern prospect. prospecting. Um, selling has changed. Things have changed in this industry. Companies have. So you'll see that this gets them into them. Um, kind of a summary of how prospecting has changed to give them some more information before they start prospecting on some of the things that they should be thinking about. So at the end of each page, you'll see during the sales cycle that you can click to just go to the next page or the next step in the cycle. So let's go to sponsorship. 
In this next in this section, we start to prepare the rep for having the executive business discussion. There will be short videos on each step that I'm working with training on. This page shows information on the purpose, goal, critical preparation, and the meeting agenda. Then the next step is to the actual um, seeking sponsorship through the executive business discussion. But here, let's click on that. And as you see, you start to get into the executive sponsorship section, which has the six levels or six steps. There's a breakdown. Here's a view of the six steps. I can also click as I as these each one of these gets built out. You have the actual step five. What do we mean to do in step five? In step five, you got to develop the skills to effectively position and help your prospects understand why win straight. These are the short videos that are getting built out. Again, if you click this, this goes into a coach's corner. Which Hello, everyone. Goes through Welcome to today's Coach's Corner. How to do effective storytelling to effective storytelling in the Why Win Stream. So I've tried to build video into each of the pages where appropriate, short videos that get right to the point for what people need to understand. So let's go back to how I do it. And I'm going to click on just the close section real quick just so you can see some of the additional pieces in there. So again, this is the last stage. So I take them through funnel and forecasting, funnel reviews, funnel audit tool, forecasting guidelines, and proper pipeline management, as well as end of month timing and order packet requirements, and then questions and quarters about the comp plan. So as they reach this, set, this stage of the sales process, then this will give them ready to submit their order and how to deal with getting paid. So let's go back to how I do it. And then let's go back to the direct sales playbook and we'll go into the system section. So in the system section that you'll see, this doesn't have just links to the systems they use, it has the how. So let's talk about WinForce real quick. So it doesn't take you directly into WinForce, it takes you to a page about what is WinForce, our expectations of using WinForce, and then how to access WinForce. You can see there's also a link to the forecasting page. As you scroll down there are direct links to the most common job aids, as well as um, available to sales on using WinForce. So I know it's sometimes hard to find how do I actually do account creation, well here's the account creation job aid um, directly on this page, as well as a link to the products systems and process training page on stream. This should um, this should help them having to search and scour stream to find those links and it should help with adoption accuracy and rep frustration. So let's go back to systems. This page also has some links to other systems they might use periodically and um, we'll give them more of a direct link to them such as WinHelp, eXpense, and the hub. So here, let's look at resources real quick. This page reinforces that we expect them to sell and get their orders in and then provides links to resources available to help them with that. It's broken into three sections, pre-signature, signature to install, and post-install support. Again, to help them find what they need when they need it. These sections will be completed next week as I receive some final information from the support, team, support teams. But you can see I've included offer management, RFPs, sales engineering, marketing, legal, including a video on proper use of sales contracts. And then um, also how to use the deal room. There's a complete section on service delivery and a new flow chart about what happens to your order as it goes downstream. Built this this week and working with service delivery. I've included the phone numbers for both Windstream and Earthlink care groups as well as the broad view who to call list and I'm building out the customer care sections and collections field marketing our field operations those will be completed next week so now let's go let's go back to the direct sales playbook and let's go into plays part of the heart of the playbook so as the playbook gets built out that we're working with a an outside consultant on with Greg Griffiths, I have point on that project as well. And as that playbook gets built out, I'll ensure alignment with this playbook. 
so that everything looks and feels the same to, um, to our sales reps, that they understand how these two pieces play together. Um, that'll happen, that playbook will get built over the next three or four months. So right now, this will be the playbook that we use to help prepare for um, what they're working on with their prospects. So I've broken this into three sections, vertical preparation, persona preparation, and product preparation. So in the vertical section, I've built direct links to the vertical and sub-vertical areas that have been built out in marketing so that they're easier to find by sales. So if you're looking for retail grocery, right here will take you directly to the sub-vertical grocery. Retail, tabletop, same thing. You'll also see here that now in the persona preparation, I'm trying to get people prepared to work with people now. So this is vertical, so this is people. You want to move up market, <clears throat> you need to understand how to read a company's 10K. <clears> There's <throat> a great article on how to read a 10K. Feel for Thought helps you be a better thought leader, um, help you share effective content with your prospects. So I built a direct link to that. And then I built out the personas for each of the common C-levels, CEO, CIO, CFO, and so on. And these include any personas that were being built out by the training department. So you'll see here how to work um, the CEO, and then there's a training that Salesforce put on, a webinar on um, selling to the CEO. I'll link that here, and a Harvard Business Review, a great story about um, needing a strategy for selling to CEOs. Let's click on the CIO real quick, and you'll see this includes definitions, responsibilities, priorities and challenges, buying triggers, and then I've incorporated in the training personas that they go through as well. So you can see what we know about Kevin, who is a CIO, um, things that, he, that drive him. And that builds out into Kevin's buying journey. So I've included those as well. This should help a rep get very prepared to meet with a C-level executive. So let's click on place. Wrapping up this section is the key product preparation. I've built in links to um, direct connections of the information I believe sales needs the fastest. Battle cards, case studies, presentations, and the stream pages for SD-WAN, UCAS, and Office Suite. Also direct links to the products and services site, collateral and presentations, logos and templates, and then the products and systems training page. And then here's direct links to the training on SD-WAN and some of the other key products. Let's go back to the direct sales playbook. This wraps up this quick video. I hope that you um, have enjoyed it. What the next steps are, I'm expecting final content from a few, forces by, uh, few sources by Wednesday of next week. And then I can finalize layer one of this playbook. My goal then is to send this to Sean and the sales leaders, the sales ops leaders, and a few key salespeople for review and to solicit feedback in areas that I may have missed that should be included. I'll get this feedback the week of the 10th and make updates to the playbook during the next two weeks after that in preparation for general availability, which will be towards the end of September or during a major um, sales tool launch that we talked about in October. Thanks.